Applied mathematics is so important because all of the sciences so uh, generate problems, mathematical problems, which are very difficult and require mathematical knowledge to solve. And then things are happening in the world like there's a tremendous amount of data being collected and generated now and analyzing that data, figuring out what the right algorithms and structures to do this. This is a problem in applied mathematics. And so um, it's a burgeoning field uh, and which there are incredible numbers of opportunities for uh, students to explore. The University of New Hampshire Applied Mathematics program is quite unique, both at the undergraduate and the graduate levels. We're a very, very interdisciplinary program where the mathematics department is within the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. So we are right there with them. Our graduate program is called the Integrated Applied Mathematics Program. It's very unique. We have uh, faculty in the program who are from a number of different disciplines within the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. We have physicists, we have computer scientists, we have applied mathematicians, chemical engineers who are involved in the program and teach its courses. Our students take a balanced um, curriculum of traditional applied mathematics, scientific computation, and specialization in an area of physical sciences of their choosing. For example, one of the graduate students in the Integrated Applied Math program is working on a par problem in carbon sequestration, uh, taking car carbon out of the atmosphere and pumping it into the ground. And there's incredibly complicated dynamics of the, the motion in the porous medium of these fluids that are infused with the carbon dioxide that we're trying to keep down there. So he has to come at this problem from a number of different angles. There's a scientific computation angle, there's, there's fluid dynamics which he's learning from professors in mechanical engineering, and then there's a lot of applied mathematics in the dynamics of this convection. So it's a very interdisciplinary problem and a very important one too.